ancient volcanic eruptions caused global mass extinctions. Burning coal and accelerated greenhouse gases choked out life. Science Daily Report, University of Leeds. A previously unknown giant volcanic eruption, supervolcano, for example, that led to global mass extinction 260 million years ago has been uncovered. Researchers believe that they uncovered evidence of a giant volcanic eruption that led to global mass extinction 260 million years ago. A previously unknown giant volcanic eruption that led to global mass extinction has been uncovered by scientists at the University of Leeds. The eruption in the Emission province of southwest China unleashed around half a million cubic kilometers of lava covering an area five times the size of Wales and it wiped out marine life around the world. It wiped out marine life around the world. Unusually, scientists were able to pinpoint the exact timing of the eruption and directly link it to a mass extinction event in the study published in Science magazine. This is because the eruptions occurred in a shallow sea, meaning that the lava appears today as a distinctive layer of igneous rock sandwiched between layers of sedimentary rock containing easily datable fossilized marine life. The layer of fossilized rock directly after the eruption shows mass extinction of different life forms, clearly linking the onset of the eruption with a major environmental catastrophe. The global effect of the eruption is also due to the proximity of the volcano to a shallow sea. The collision of fast-flowing lava with shallow water, the seawater, caused a violent explosion at the start of the eruptions, throwing huge quantities of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Quote, when fast-flowing, low-viscosity magma meets shallow sea, it's like throwing water into a chip pan. There is a spectacular explosion producing gigantic clouds of steam, unquote. This is what Professor Paul Wignall, the paleontologist at the University of Leeds says. He's the lead author of the paper. The injection of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere would have led to massive cloud formation spreading around the world cooling the planet and ultimately resulting in a torrent of acid rain. Scientists estimate from the fossil record that the environmental disaster happened at the start of the eruption. Quote, the abrupt extinction of marine life we can clearly see in the fossil record firmly links gigantic volcanic eruptions with global environmental catastrophe, a correlation that has often been controversial as Professor Wignall. Previous studies have linked increased carbon dioxide production by volcanic eruptions and with mass extinctions. However, because of the very long-term warming effect that occurs with increased atmospheric carbon dioxide, as we see with current climate change, the casual link between global environmental changes and volcanic eruptions has been hard to confirm. And the world's biggest extinction event, massive volcanic eruption, burning coal and accelerated greenhouse gas choked out life. This is again now from Social Science Daily by the University of Calgary this time. About 250 million years ago, 95% of life was wiped out in the sea and 70% on land. Researchers now believe that they discovered evidence to support Massive volcanic eruptions burnt significant volumes of coal, producing ash clouds that had broad impact on global oceans. Researchers walking through sediments deposited shortly after the worst extinction event in Earth history on the shores of Buchanan Lake in Axel Heyberg Island in Nunavut. Nunavut about two hundred so it was not only in China, it was also spread to Nunavut. About two hundred and fifty million years about nine ago, about ninety-five percent of life was wiped out in the sea 
and 70% on land. Researchers at the University of Calgary believe they have discovered evidence to support massive volcanic eruptions, burnt significant volumes of coal, producing ash clouds that had broad impact on global oceans. Quote, this could literally be the smoking gun that explains the latest Permian extinction, end quote, says Dr. Steve Grasby, adjunct professor, professor at the University of Calgary's Department of Geoscience and research scientist at Natural Resources Canada. Grasby and colleagues discovered layers of coal ash in rocks from the extinction boundary in Canada's high Arctic that give the first direct proof to support this and have published their findings in Nature Geoscience. Unlike the end of dinosaurs 65 million years ago, where there is widespread belief that the impact of a meteorite was at least the partial cause, it's unclear what caused the late Permian extinction. Previous researchers have suggested massive volcanic eruptions through coal beds in Siberia would generate significant greenhouse gases causing runaway global warming. Quote, our research is the first to show direct evidence that massive volcanic eruptions, the largest the world has ever witnessed, caused massive coal combustion, thus supporting models for significant generation of greenhouse gases at this time, says Grasby. At the time of the extinction, the Earth contained one big land mass, a supercontinent known as Pangaea. The environment ranged from desert to lush forest. Four-limbed vertebrates were becoming more diverse, and among them were primate, primitive amphibians, early reptiles, and synapsids, the group that would one day include the mammals. The location of volcanoes, known as the Siberian Traps, are now found in northern Siberia, centered around the Siberian city Tura, and also encompassing Yakutsk, Norilsk, and Irkutsk. They cover an area just under 2 million square kilometers, a size greater than that of all of Europe. The ash plumes from the volcanoes travel to regions now in Canada's Arctic, where coal ash layers, coal ash layers, are found. Grasby studied the formations with Dr. Benoit Béchamp, a professor at the Department of uh, Geoscience at the University of Calgary. They called upon Dr. Hamed Sané, a junk professor at the University of Calgary and a researcher at NR Canada, to look at some of the peculiar organic layers they discovered. Quote, we saw layers with abundant organic matter, and Hamed immediately determined that they were layers of coal ash, exactly like that produced by modern coal-burning power plants, end quote, says Beauchamp. Sané adds, our discovery provides the first direct confirmation for coal ash during this extinction, as it may not have been recognized before. The ash, the author suggests, may have caused even more trouble for a planet that was already heating up with its oceans starting to suffocate because of decreasing oxygen levels. Quote, it was a really bad time on Earth. In addition to these volcanoes causing fires through coal, the ash it spewed was highly toxic and was released in the land and water, potentially contributing to the worst extinction event in Earth history, end quote, says Gasby.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.